our dreams for the future. We will explore our personal civic journey and the influences and impacts we experienced as we engaged with local communities. We are going to explore the main influences in people's lives, how these change over the course of their civic journeys, and why they do or don't interact with their local communities as they reach adulthood. What words would you use to describe all that? Oh, my local area is safe. It's, um, it's a small town. Traffic. Hilly is a big is one of the words I would use to describe Wolverhampton. Cold um, and go with old because there's a lot of old people around. Small, in my opinion, um, mainly because I'm a local and I've lived here all my life. I mean, I have lived here 20 years, but I don't have much to say because there isn't much to do. Um, there's loads of pubs about, but a lot of them are just, you know, boring. Full of old people. Pubs. Football. That would be my other one. Football. Pubs and football. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting and appealing because we have a, a famous uh, football team in the UK. I feel like there's parts of it that look old, um, but I do think that it kind of suits Wolverhampton because if it was all like updated and there was new buildings about it, just wouldn't feel homely. Diversity, big one, and central. Um, I think um, Wolverhampton is quite a dangerous area. I don't know if it's the area that I live in specific, um, but I find it dangerous. I feel like it's really unsafe. Um, I feel as if it's not easy to go out there and actually feel safe. There's a lot of pubs, like a lot, uh, many varieties uh, to just go after work if you need a drink or something, or even if you want to go with a family. It has things, but they're not very they're not up to the best standards. So like when you go to Birmingham and you go to a club, it is like amazing. When you go to Wolverhampton and you go to a club, it's not the best. There are a few things that people can do in Wolverhampton, such as like visiting the Molyneux uh, for Wolverhampton Wanderers football team. Um, but they also can have a gander at the uh, shops as well in the city centre, which is the Manda Centre. Uh, where there is a ton of shops that people can have a look at. Um, to be honest, um, I didn't particularly feel like there was much that I could have engaged with um, when I was a little younger, especially um, when I was a lot younger, when I was like a, a teenager, early teens, late teens. Um, I think around the age of when you're thinking about university and going to university at the time, I don't think there was much in and around the area for me and that's why I looked a bit further afield. One of the recurring themes we have is that Wolverhampton is boring, that what it has to offer isn't fit for the newest generation of young people, so it doesn't give them the spaces that older generations may have had to socialise and interact with communities and to, well, properly engage as part of their own civic journey. However, we also find that while many consider parts of the city to be old, a lot of people from Wolverhampton are very proud of the city's heritage and this shapes the communities they interact with. Did education impact your choices? So, how was your school life and did it have any impact on the creative industry choices that you decided to make? I learned a lot, but when it came to my creative ideas and stuff like that now, like game development, um, d doing like uh, graphics design and stuff like that, it mostly came after I left education, so I think it helped me a little bit to actually uh, feel out different things and see what I'm actually interested in doing, but that's for the most part after I left education. Um, I mean, this school's there's free education, so it's, it's not all bad, um, but I do believe like the schools and places like colleges and stuff like that they need to take things more seriously like education like they're more worried about like your uniform and your face and your makeup and your hair colours rather than your actual education and like getting you somewhere in life. Uh, definitely I will say education definitely impacted my uh, career and uh my journey, mostly because uh, in Romania we don't university where you can actually learn animation. I mean, maybe you can, but like from what I know, it's just like a one course, one time. But is that that's it? It's nothing 
very in detail and in depth and it's nothing something separate. Right now Romania is very traditional with art. If I think even the way you are taught is in a very very old fashioned way. Because I'm, I'm coming from an art school, I've, I've seen it all. I, I just know how they want you to learn. And it looks a bit more um, kind of in their way. It's more from one perspective. And they do let you be creative. I mean, if you go with graphics, they'll always encourage you to be creative. I'll probably stay in Wolverhampton after work if I had to go out with some of my co-workers or if there was some extra work to be done, like in a very tight, tight deadline. Um, I mean, my mom did put me in like clubs, like karate club and dance club and like sports clubs, but I was never really interested. Um, I think maybe it's just me as a person, I'm quite a shy girl, so I don't like to like, interact with strangers about, so I don't really engage in the clubs, um, so my mum just took me out of them because it was just a waste of money. And let me just add, clubs and things like that, like things that will help a child in the future. Um, clubs are really expensive these days because um, I just feel like things like that will actually help a child develop into like a person in the future, like a good person, a, somebody that's like, you know, got something going for them. Um, but I just think obviously a lot of parents just avoid putting their kids in like clubs and stuff because it's just too expensive. Like, it is just way too expensive. Everything is too expensive in Wolverhampton. We've just listened to young people talk about their experiences in education and how they're interacting with communities of that young age shape them. And what we've heard is that, almost overwhelmingly, that Education had a very short-term impact on how young people of today are interacting with communities as they grow older. Therefore, it's having a, a very small impact on their civic journey. Working in Wolverhampton has provided me with the opportunities to pursue a career in graphic design and marketing. The city has allowed me to interact with lots of other people that share the same interests and passions as me which I think has been really beneficial to my career within the creative industry. I've always been more inclined to the creative aspects of life, having studied art and graphics at school and college. I'd say I found a passion for the more digital side of art since I'm a lot more technologically inclined rather than just drawing or painting. Being in the city, I see lots of examples of graphic design and how it helps other businesses firsthand, which I think really helps me learn more about where I want to take my career and what I can do to help further myself in the industry, seeing what other people are doing as well as what they want to do in terms of digital content creation and marketing. Whether it's something as simple as a billboard or a bus sign, there's plenty around Wolverhampton to see. I really enjoy working in Wolverhampton, a culturally diverse and interesting landscape, as there's always something I can draw inspiration from. Overall, I believe working and being in such a large environment is good exposure for my creativity and work. Like growing up, um, I, had a lot of, I had a lot of friends, there was um, a lot of communities to go to, such as our local park, local youth centres. There was a lot of places to go. So I do feel like an adult because I have a full-time job, like I work, I've got responsibilities in terms of a job. Uh, but there are some times like, where I'll go out and I'll just feel like a child because, I don't know, the way people treat you, I feel like, I don't know, like, you know when you're in a shop and then like that random old lady was, just, oh, I've got a granddaughter as as old as you and she does this and she does that and I'm thinking I ain't that young like I'm 20 years of age I'm not like 10 years old you know. So I graduated from Coventry University I studied illustration and animation and the year I graduated was quite the worst year you can graduate ever because the pandemic hit. Right after my year ended I moved to Birmingham and I was looking for a job in my domain and uh, surprise, surprise, I had no options because uh, during a pandemic, the economy went very down. So nobody had enough money to hire someone who was a junior. But if there were any junior positions, they will uh, ask for at least two to three years of experience, which is quite impossible if you ask me to have such thing. I... Um, kept applying, kept applying, and uh, I found LearnPlay and they took me in and they gave me the opportunity to actually gain some experience and that's how I ended up in Wolverhampton. 
Growing up in Wolverhampton, I found there was never really anything to do or the opportunity for us as young people to go do things in the community. In school, I found myself as an outsider and got bullied, so I don't really feel I could join in on the community in school. College was a place I found my, ide my ideology expanded and myself growing as a person, but I still didn't fully fit in as I found myself wanting to break out of Wolverhampton, whereas a lot of other young people here don't get the opportunity to leave and travel. I went away for uni and there I discovered I was part of the LGBTQ, LGBT community. I would never have made this conclusion in Wolverhampton as I found the sort of stigma around coming out and being proud of who you are. Um, which to me was always confusing as Wolverhampton is a diverse city full of different cultures and backgrounds. I don't find myself interacting with local communities because I just think Wolverhampton is such a horrible place. I think it's so unfriendly. Like, I, I find myself such, like, I think I'm a friendly person, but, like, when I go out there and I give, like, that stranger a smile, like, I'll just get a dirty look back. Well, I, I used to go to um, a local youth club, and that was to, like, basically help me um, interact with more people, particularly within my age group. And a lot of my friends used to go there as well from school, so I didn't have to always have to interact with them in school, I can interact with them outside of school as well and the youth centre was a good opportunity to interact with them along with other people as well. Well my local area, what it can be achieved is by having more opportunities that relate to my career aspects. I'm, I'm more into like the animation aspect, there's not a lot of um, opportunities there and, and it's making me feel to like reach out into like like the bigger towns and cities that have more of those opportunities there so if um, they had, had more opportunities in the town I'm in now there would be no reason for me to like to like move I'll be perfect because everything in my town would just be perfect. As a society as a whole we need to understand that young people do want to do things they want to be out there they want to be progressing and um, they want to do stuff they don't all just want to be sitting at home doing nothing they do want to do stuff it's just about making sure that the appropriate support and opportunities are out there i think it is really hard to find a job um and even now i just think everybody has to travel to actually get a job um like i mean i'm lucky because i only live around the corner but for most people they actually have to either get on a train or a bus or something to kind of work and I just don't think it's fair because travel and things like that are so expensive these days um, and I also think that's the reason that people turn to like drug dealing and you know like thieves and like you know like the bad world they turn to the bad world because there's not many opportunities for them to turn good and the wages are absolutely terrible. So I feel like there should be like a college, but not like an educational college, but like a life skill college. Something to kind of keep you going in life towards the right path so like they'd help you with like buying a house and stuff like that. A college that gives you kind of more independence and kind of leads you in the right place. I feel like colleges and secondary schools and sixth forms these days, they just don't really care about what you do after. I think there is actually quite a good few services out there to help young people. The only thing I would say could be slightly improved on is that it needs to be more, like people need to work together more so that because there are quite a few different projects out there, um, it's difficult to keep on top of what, what's out there sort of thing. Like so the staff who oh, I didn't know that project was going or I didn't know that project offered this for example or that project offers the same as us so we don't want the young person to be going and doing the same sort of thing over there. I just think it just needs to be a bit, be a bit more um, a bit more joined up if you like. I think the, I think more needs to be done to, to understand what people want or people need um, and it isn't the same as it was the 1970s or even in maybe in the 2000s to be fair I think there, there needs to be a, a greater appreciation for what this generation want and need and would benefit from um, even me as like a 30 year old talking about what teenagers want like that's ridiculous like it, it should be teenagers need to think and I probably are thinking to be fair this is what I want by the time I'm X like how can I get there um, so I think the people that 
have the power and the money and the will to to put these things in place for the younger generations need to talk to the younger generations and um, because they're the ones experiencing it and, and doing it um so that they, they need to understand the i guess the reality of what it's like of a, of a 20 year old growing up in 2022 because it's very different from um what it was for me and what it was for, for for other people thank you for taking the time to watch this video as you have seen many people during their civic journey have had a negative or mixed experience with within the culture of wolverhampton each of them have also given a reason why they feel this way so thank you for taking the time to watch this video and i hope we have given you some reasons to make wolverhampton a better place to live in for young people